Man. I'm sorry. If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the Filthy Capitalist option. It's sorry, it says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of the alliance. You don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times, and then get mashed down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you, so we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive you review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just Rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is the community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in at Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together and that helps determine what songs that we do. The alliances hang out on Discord. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash and sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and uh, it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 here and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Buy our merch. Buy our merch. Buy our merch, indeed. Buy indeed. Oops. Hello, dear listener. Dear listener, dear listener. Were you oh, we're being interrupted. <laughs> And here we are. My name is Vincent. And I'm sorry. <laughs> and tonight we're going to react to some music, possibly making us look like we're not Christians. Prepare yourself for the darkness. Uh, you're kind of freaking me out here. Uh, okay. Having said that, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, from the cavernous caves of uh, Vin and Soryville. Yes. Um, here we are. Uh, one of us is still a Christian. And one of us is not. You make your guess. <laughs> and uh, it, it, I don't know how to explain this to people, but it is kind of disconcerting. I'm not going to lie to you. The energy in here is kind of a little bit different. Um, I'm not really a fan but uh you know hey this is this is uh what we do well i did have one white eye on i took it off for you yeah the white eye the white eye was too much for me i was like okay that's it was getting cool. fearful like we have to we have to uh, like pretend that we're christians or at least try but uh anyway this is uh the true cult alliance uh the name of this song is transylvanian hunger and um, we're going to go right into it. And of course, everybody's telling me, oh, shut up, Vin, blah, 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 blah. Transylvanian hunger, let's go.
Damn. Okay, so that was uh, Transylvanian Hunger. Mm. I was going to say by the band Bathory because everybody keeps saying Bathory <laughs> because because of uh, mm-hmm. you with your evil mm, self. Yes. <laughs> Mm. Um, okay, so the main riff, that that main melodic, somebody said, I forgot, I don't know who it was, because I don't recognize the name, but somebody said, like, hey, man, do you hear the uh, the Magua influence? Mm-hmm. Or or the, the, the how Magua was influenced by them, because these guys were before <laughs> Magua. And yeah, you know, where you take that one melodic tremolo thing, and yep. you just ride that for the entire song, but then you have a crazy drummer, like... That that right there. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this was a little. This was underproduced, mm-hmm. but it was good musicianship. Like, you could tell this was good musicianship. Yep. Like, we listened to a black metal song a couple of days ago, and it was like bad musicianship and bad production. Mm-hmm. And somebody was well, talking. Go look, ahead. Look, guys, I'll give you some advice. If you don't like this type of music, paint your face because I enjoyed it much more like this. <laughs> I'm serious. Did you really? Yeah, I think it kind of gets you in the mood for it. So it's like, okay, we're gonna. Yeah, you kind of you kind of transform every time the the face paint comes on. Like I like it. And we can only do it like once a year because I'm gonna go to bed like this. Okay, you Will go you to be bed. Scared? You go to bed alone. <laughs> That's friend Reese on the drums. Yeah, the 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 dr- <laughs> the white face is cultural appropriation, geisha. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um. Yeah, yeah. British vampire story is that's uh, true. Should yeah. I use the word bloody now? Now you can. Now you can. Like going s- straight to hell. No, no. Well, no, because if you say bloody and you're British, then you're going to hell. When you say bloody as America, you're okay. Yeah, so I just said bloody as a British sounding accent. Yeah, but now now you're going to hell. Yeah, I'm going to hell. Well, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> that's so bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is this is for the. Uh, <laughs> For all the stalkers. Did you see what Soraya was wearing? Also, I've put up two devil horns. So you, add that to your book. Yeah, yeah, you stupid, stupid people. All right. Um, we approve of the stream. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, okay, so number one, the music is like the big, big... I mean, there is not a lot of lyrics here. We'll go over the lyrics in a second. But like the, the I just love that melodic tremolo picking i love it as a matter of fact after well we got to do some stuff with the room and stuff but after that i'm gonna pull out my guitar and 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 just come up i'm I'm just i'm just gonna write a song like that by the end of the night and uh we're gonna call it bloody in uh in honor of the big homie uh ken um (laughs) you're going to hell now no no so that (laughs) when all the americans sing the song they're gonna be like bloody but then, like, we're gonna have like some like European people say it too on the song. No. So then, when the Europeans say it, we'll like make the screen go red, and then when the Americans say it, no, we'll go blue. this is so bad. <laughs> All right, let's get right into these lyrics because I'm super curious. Shout now. out to Zombie Holic. My parents have officially been evacuated. Oh, Sucks. No. Hopefully, they stop the fire. I hate to lose my car and my folks' home. Yikes! Damn. Keep us updated, uh, yes. Zombs. Okay, Transylvanian Hunger. Uh, I'm assuming that's talking about vampirism, right? Because uh, what's his face is from Transylvania? Dracula? Yes. Yes, I'm quite familiar. There's actually a video game called Transylvania. And there's also but a... My mom, my mom wouldn't let us play it. Why not? Uh, because it, I mean, it was Transylvania. It was vampires and shit. Well, she let you do lots of things that we weren't allowed to do, so I'm surprised. No, but that was like directly... You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So uh, my brother, his best friend, his name was Chris... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shout out to Chris Green, um, and he had it on Game Boy. So I used to play Transylvania on Game Boy. Yeah, I used to go over to his place, and we j- I just played Transylvania on Game Boy. So you broke yeah. the rules, one hundred percent. And the music, I love the music, but it was like spooky. But it was like you know, it was on a Game Boy, so it mm-hmm. sounded kind of you know crappy. But I mean, it was a spooky sound. I was like, oh my god, this is like some dangerous shit I'm doing here. Um, Transylvanian hunger, cold soul. Your hands are cruel to haunt, to haunt. The mountains are cold, soul, soul, careful, pale, forever at night. Take me. Can't you feel the call? Embrace me eternally in your daylight slumber. I like that. That's uh, that's a vampires, right? They sleep in the day? Yes. <sighs> Be good to get someone in your gang to add something to your prospect list. I don't know what that means. We continue. To be d- draped by the shadow of your morbid palace. Oh. Of hate. Living. Hate living. 
The only heat is warm blood. Ooh. So it looks like this guy wants to be down with the with the vampire shit. Like mm-hmm. he wants to be like in the crew. Yep. And the only warmth is warm warm blood. Yikes. Yeah, those dudes are always cold. I always think of vampires as being cold. Like like uh what's that guy's name? Cullen? The, the, the guy that you were in love with when we were what's his name? I was never in love with him. Yeah, you were in love No, with I, that really dude. I, I really wasn't. I really like, were. No, I really wasn't. You have no yeah, idea what was she, going on with me during l- that. Listen, time. she tore her Achilles, right? So she was bedridden for like a couple weeks. And so uh then watch the whole her Twilight friend, series. Her with friend me. her friend got her the entire Twilight series. So we watched that shit from beginning to end. He did, he watched and, it with me. It was so And cute. like you could tell like she was completely smitten with uh with the uh, Edward Cullen guy, the vampire, whatever. It's completely untrue. And she's trying to like reorient it and say, "Oh no, I was I was replacing him with you." But how many black vampires do you like see really? I mean, come on. There's one in my thoughts. <laughs> so, so you she had that. Um, Hail to the true intense vampires, a story made for divine fulfillment. To be the ones breathing a wind of sorrow, sorrow and fright, the darest catharsis. You know, I wonder if rock stars like feel that way. Like, I wonder if they feel like almost vampirish because really like their schedule like my schedule right now is like i'm own i i most of my day is seeing the night and i i'm at peace with that i love that i'm not i'm not really a fan of daylight you know what i'm saying but like as i've said there's a vampire in my mind right now that's that's that is true though because that's like that's kind of the lifestyle i live like i kind of lead that lifestyle although people just suck my blood i'm usually surrounded by people who suck the life out of me not the other way around mm-hmm uh but but like think about their life right they like you figure they sleep during the day they have nothing to do in the day especially if you're a main stage band yeah if you're if you're a main stage band you're you're not working till nine nine o'clock at night maybe eight o'clock that's not you know so you have nothing to do so a lot of these dudes they just sleep mm-hmm. and uh they wake up at like five or six o'clock p.m you know what i'm saying yeah it kind of sounds like that would get old though you know, I feel like that the nice sunlight is nice, but that's me. We're different. You're you're the opposite. If you lived in a forever dark world, you'd be good with it. I would be completely fine. And I wouldn't. I, I could be in forever light, but I would go visit your dark world and you could visit my light world maybe. We could meet on the edge. Uh yeah. You know, I yeah, I could I could see that. I could see that we could uh, meet in the middle. I'm not necessarily against meeting in the middle. Um, y- yeah, so I- I'm just saying, like, Jonathan, jo- Jonathan had a, a vampire type of thing, too, like, uh, Queen of the Damned, which is mm-hmm. a vampire thing, but it's interesting, in the movie Queen of the Damned, the vampire was actually a rock star. Oh. Like, he was, like, a legitimate rock star. Really? Yeah. Um, and I just think that there is a lot of, like, interplay between being a rock star and the vampire lifestyle. Mm-hmm. You know, because, like, typically vampires are looked upon as, like, they're usually very attractive. They're very seductive. You know, they usually have a bunch of girls. You know what I'm saying? But they're just there to consume the girl. They're not there to really be with the girl, which is why the whole Twilight thing was, oh, it's different Mm -hmm. because, oh, he falls in love with her. Right. But, like, if you look at what a vampire does, he's attractive. He lives the nightlife. He really doesn't function very, very well in the day. And he's got a steady harem of women that he just consumes and doesn't like that. That's a rock star. So I, yeah. I, I just think that like, that's true. especially if you're in a metal, you're kind of drawn to the darker side of life. Like the, I think there's a lot of correlation that they have between, you know, vampires and you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And their, you know, their lifestyle. Just it just seems yeah no like I, I can definitely see that yeah <laughs> <clears throat> where where were you lyrically well I I pretty much read the whole thing beautiful evil self to the to be the morbid count a part of a pact that is delightfully immortal feel the call frees you with the uppermost see right there when he talks about you know the a pact that is delightfully immor- immortal that would be you make a pact with other people. So that would be the people in his band. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it, it just looks like they're talking about their lifestyle. And, and, you know, some of this, I mean, these guys are European, right? So some of this is is going to be the the environment, you know, the cold, dark environment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I also think it's just one of it's I think it's a pretty brilliant way to express, um, you know, they talk about 
to be one, the ones breathing a wind of sorrow. Sorrow and fright, the dearest catharsis. So I, I just think that this is talking about their lifestyle as rock stars, black metal rock stars, and they're casting it in in a you know the vampire motif because really? it goes very very well with the lifestyle that they lead. They have a pact with one another. It's dark. They're Hail they're nocturnal. Hail to the true intense vampires like all the other all the other rock stars that that go in hard like they do. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so yeah, I, I I think that that's what it's about, like Transylvanian hunger. It's like that's how they define their lifestyle and and what they're about. So mm-hmm. it looks like that to me. Uh, what do you give it? Ooh, you know, this is gonna be weird because, like I said, seriously, painting my face made me enjoy the music more. So I'm gonna go with a nine point three. Nine point three. Uh, I think this is a nine dot five. I think they started out really, 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 really solid. Um, really good song. I love the tremolo riff and it wasn't too long. Like they, the song had a lot of awareness. Like it knew we're just going to ride this. Yeah. Riff yeah. And, and then we're going to jump I'm out with of it. it. And it wasn't very pretentious and it was perfect. So, so shout out to what did I, cult. I got it at 9.5. And yes, obviously, you, you know, look, black metal is my favorite genre and tremolo, the tremolo style is like my favorite of my favorite. So, I mean, that's why I got the life is my favorite song. Right, like any right. any song that's got tremolo movements like that, I love it. So that's it. Nine dot five. What'd you give it? I give it a nine point three. There you are, dear listener. Uh, if you are in the DJ stream, um, then uh, stick around. We've got more songs to do. If you're if you're a square and you're not in the DJ stream, then we don't care what you do. Ah, huh? well, we'll see you later. Been out. Bathsury out. Gone.